Hey, I'm RGC and I exist, and this is a mod I made of Glyph Patch's Paper Minecraft on Scratch. Now, recently I said I was going to be leaving Scratch because of the weird stuff Scra the Scratch team has been doing recently that I don't exactly agree with. But when I saw Glyph Patch's tutorial on making Paper Minecraft mods, I just couldn't resist because Paper Minecraft is my childhood. And also, he said he was going to be playing some of them in his latest video, so I thought that would be neat if I could at least try to get in. Now, this isn't your typical mod that most people are making since he made the tutorial, as it actually adds extra code to the game and doesn't just change lists and add costumes. So I started with this tutorial, but I actually added my own code to make, you guessed what the title said, command blocks work. So if you press T on your keyboard, it will bring up these lists of commands. So if I say, for example, slash game mode S for survival, it sets me to survival mode. And if I type slash game mode C for creative mode, it sets me back to creative mode. I can also not type a slash or a command at the beginning of the thing to just say what I said. So, for example, hello world without a slash does this. Makes me say it. So, now if I go into the creative mode menu, I can get a command block out. And these command blocks will actually allow me to enter a command that I can then run with redstone, and the command will actually uh, basically emulate what would normally happen if I if I typed it in chat. So, for example, if I say slash game mode s, and if I grab this, then I can set myself to survival. And if I want to, oh yeah, I can only do it in survival mode. If I want to do slash game mode creative and then set myself to survival, then I can do that as well. And the really cool thing is that you can actually you can actually have multiple of these of these at once. Now, I'm going to be honest, I have had a lot of issues especially with changing game modes where if you do two if you do two command blocks at once, run them at once, then it'll kind of glitch out and it'll it get it'll get it in a state where you can't run the game mode commands anymore. So be wary of that. Um, but if I space these two apart, it should be fine. So now I'll do slash game mode S, and I think this one was creative already, but let me change it just in case. And now if I walk over here, I would be changed to survival mode. And if I walk over here, I would be changed to creative mode. Pretty cool, huh? Um, and now I can also do stuff like time set D for day, and slash time set in for night. And this will set it to the day, and this will set it to the night. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure if that's normally what happens when you set it to the night, but that's what happens for this, so whatever. Um, and I'll go ahead and time set day. There we go. Um, I can also, and another thing I can do is, you remember how I said when you don't type a slash command, it does... It will, um, it will basically just say it. The same goes for command blocks. There is no slash say command, but, but just typing it without a slash essentially does the same thing. So if I say, hello world, the command block will say, hello world, when I step on it. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. 